guys, welcome to Sim UK and Flight Sim World. So today I'm going to try the LAPL, the Light Aircraft Pilot's License Final Skills Test Exam. I've been told it's pretty difficult, so uh, I've got my work cut out for me. But uh, I have been practicing, as you guys uh, may have seen in some of my other videos. So I'm feeling fairly confident. The only thing that maybe I'm not that confident about is being able to maintain a decent landing speed. I've been having a few problems with that, despite quite a lot of practice. So we'll see how it goes today. We'll see how it goes. Now, um, I've tried to create myself a window um, where I won't be disturbed. I've got my head tracking on, I've got my system set up, and I'm all good and ready to go. Now that the formalities are over, you should know that I am your examiner today. I want you to pass this skills test as much as you do, but you'll have to earn it. Before I sign you off, I need to see that you're qualified to command an aircraft in a safe manner. I'll ask you to perform some specific maneuvers and I'll observe. Just act like I'm not here. Your job is to keep me quiet. If I have to take the controls at any point, you'll have to fly the whole test again. Fair enough? White Waltham Radio, Cub Golf Delta Lima, holding short, runway 07. White Waltham, Cherokee 9 Sierra Hotel, on final for runway 07. Okay, you have control. When you're ready, go ahead and show me a normal takeoff. Maintain 1,000 feet. Accelerate to 90 miles per hour. straight and level flight. Maintain a heading of 070 degrees at 1,000 feet and 90 miles per hour. White Waltham Radio, Cub Golf Delta Lima, exiting the circuit, maneuvering to the north. See some level turns. Turn left to 360 degrees. Maintain 90 miles per hour and 1,000 feet as you turn.
You've rolled out late. I must see you roll out within 10 degrees of the assigned heading. Now show me a left turn to 270 degrees. to 180 degrees. Maintain 1,000 feet, please. Okay, good. Now let's see a constant speed climb. Go ahead and climb to 2,000 feet at 75 miles per hour. Maintain 180 degrees. Maintain 75 miles per hour in the climb, please. Maintain 180 degrees, please. Where should you set the power for a climb? Now show me a constant speed descent. Descend to 1,000 feet at 75 miles per hour. Maintain 180 degrees, please. Level off and maintain 1,000 feet. Okay, almost done. Let's see a landing. Runway 29 is just behind you. Turn right and line up with it. White Waltham Radio, Cup Golf Delta Lima, turning final for runway 29, full stop. All right, line us up for runway 29. Make a straight in approach.
landing, I want to see you keep the airspeed and glide path stable and stay on the runway center line. Touch down as close as possible to the runway numbers. Watch your speed, you're fast. way to the left and come to a stop. All right, stop the aircraft here. Congratulations, you're a certified light aircraft pilot. Go flying, and be safe. So guys, finally I have achieved the LAPL license. I'm so chuffed. Uh, it actually gives me a really good sense of achievement, and um, I'm really quite glad that I've managed to do it. Now, I'm not going to pretend that that was the first attempt. It wasn't. It took me five attempts. Um, I, as I said, I tried to create myself a window this morning where I wouldn't be disturbed. Unfortunately, my wife popped her head in once just to see how I was, just to see how I was doing, and uh, my five-year-old daughter pops popped in about three times. So all in all, um, it took me five attempts uh, to uh, to do it. But uh, it was actually two full attempts by me. So I completely failed once, second time round well, fifth time round, without any distractions. I already knew what to expect, so it was much easier for me to deal with. Incidentally, every time they popped their head in, it screwed up my um, head tracking because it was letting ambient light in behind me, so the head tracking didn't know where I was, which really didn't help me out. I also had a really massive, weird technical issue uh, for some, some unknown reason on attempt, I think it was number three, Flight Sim World um, rebound my throttle to my uh, controller, to my um, to the stick. So every time I was turning left, I think it was, it was affecting my throttle control, which absolutely ruined uh, one of my flights. So there's a few bugs in Flight Sim World, and um, really, honestly and truly, it is these, for me, it is these pilot training sessions and the fact that you can be awarded a license that in conjunction with the missions that really makes flight sim world um an exciting option for me i'll be totally honest if you took missions and training and the licensing and put it into a game like x-plane 11 then i don't think i'd ever come back to flight sim world it's it's not that good that I mean, it's not as good as Explain 11, and it is, for me, just these features of training and missions that really, really stand out for Flight Sim World. It's its USP, if you will. You may or may not know that the first uh, Flight Sim World third-party payware add-on has been released. I don't have a copy of that to show you, but I've, there are quite a few other interesting YouTubers out there who have got access to it early so uh, you can go and watch their reviews there but unfortunately I won't be doing one I think it's by Just Flight um, I'm sure Frugal or somebody a bit more uh, au fait with Flight Sim World will do a brilliant review in due course but as it is at the moment it doesn't look that great but that I haven't seen a great review on it just yet so just take that into consideration um I think it's called the Piper Arrow 3, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, yeah, go and check that out. It's the first payware uh, GA aircraft for Flight Sim World, and it's probably a good indication of what's to come in the future. And uh, yeah, so I mean, the game is is good in the sense that it's, you know, it's definitely playable, and it has these missions and training features, which is nice. 
And um, the first of hopefully many third-party payware aircraft has finally been released. And uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. But I won't be doing any beta testing or any sort of serious Flight Sim World uh, videos from this point in, I suspect. That's pretty much it for me. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, hit the like button if you in did enjoy it and you'd like to see more, despite what I've just said. And uh, if you... Uh, if you're not already subscribed, then you know please do subscribe, and then you can be alerted. If you hit that little bell button, you can be alerted to future videos. That's it from me. Take care of yourselves. Until next time, goodbye.